I'm standing inside one of India's hidden jewels, the solid state physics laboratory in New Delhi. This laboratory has given India semiconductor devices in our latest satellite, the EOS-4. And you would be surprised to know, the first Indian satellite, Aryabhatta, also had semiconductors which came from this laboratory. The machines you see behind me are sophisticated instruments which are used by scientists here to give India some of the best semiconductors. These wafers are hard to get and these compound semiconductors are hard to make. Dr. Seema, all of this is your labor of love for years. Tell me what they are and what are they used for. Okay, so what I want to show here is that you see this, these pieces, these size of pieces hold some seven components of this type on this piece. This is a semiconductor technology. And so that size has re been reduced to not just so much size. smaller. Many components of this size have got reduced to this. So this is one complete power amplifier or maybe a complete transducive module that we are so working on. So that is the magic of that semiconductors. Is, yes. And we have earlier worked on gallium arsenide technology, which is now totally in production at Getek. After transferring this technology to Getek, we are totally focusing on GAN here. And this is a process GAN wafer that I've also already shared with you. And this also has a number of circuits. And we can deliver up to 20 watts or 30 watts of power from a single circuit in this. And from all of this, yeah. then next stage is yeah. full-fledged devices. Yes, yes. These are, the, these are our packaged devices delivering more than 100 watts. If these were easy, then everybody would be making them. India deploys some of these semiconductors in its devices. It is the remarkable vision of the Defense Research and Development Organization that compound semiconductor research started in India decades ago. And India is a leading nation in this sector. Keep watching India Science.